My name is Dan Tooson and I'm a farm advisor working with Natural England and I'm going to tell you a little bit about our work in the Kent Downs restoring and reconnecting wildlife rich habitats. So we know the challenge that wildlife faces and we know that one way of solving this challenge is to build bigger, better and more joined up habitats. We also know that farming is the main land use in the countryside. So our work has all been about working with farms over long timescales to create a new generation of flower rich grasslands like the one we're standing in today. In other words, taking arable land and species poor grasslands and finding ways to enhance and develop species rich grassland communities. So one way of creating this landscape of new grasslands is to take arable land and allow the natural vegetation to colonise in on its own accord. And this is a really good example of a 10 hectare block. It was arable back in the mid 1990s and now we've got the makings of a really good chalk grassland plant community. We've got ladies bed straw, pyramid orchid and quaking grass. Naturally regenerated grasslands have been used to good effect in our Stour Valley project area where flagship species such as Duke of Burgundy and Black Vane Moth are now beginning to establish new colonies on arable reversion areas that have developed the particular habitat requirements through many years of advice and close working with farms and estates. Add to this the network of fields that have been sown down to native wildflowers and we're now well on our way to completing a large-scale nature recovery network in this area. So another approach that we use to establish these grasslands is to get farms to sow in wildlife seed mixtures. So this is a good example of a native wildflower sown seed mixture. It's 18 hectares in size, this particular block, one of the examples in our East Kent project area. And as you can see, the flowers are thriving really well. One of the reasons for that is the presence of this flower here, yellow rattle living up to its name. And we get farms to put this plant into seed mixtures because it's really good at suppressing the dominance of grasses. It feeds on grass roots and reduces their vigour. And that means all these other wildflowers can thrive. Our East Kent Valleys project supports some of our larger blocks of native wildflower seeding work. Taking the farmland around the Lydon, Alcombe and Denton Valleys, we've created around 170 hectares across 20 farms. Seventy hectares of which have been sown with wildflower mixtures, linking up large areas and corridors of insect-rich habitat. So building wildflower diversity in our grasslands is just half the story. The other part of the story is all about building what we call structure. In other words, the range of different vegetation heights that wildlife needs. And this ranges from hay meadows, which are cut in the summer months, through to grazed pastures and areas that are just occasionally grazed to provide herb-rich areas amongst a mosaic of scrub. Where we can, it makes sense to try and target this habitat creation work around our already important wildlife sites. But as we know, this is so often a fragmented and small resource that in order to restore wildlife to many landscapes, we have to start again from scratch. That's just what we've been doing in our Barham Downs project area, where arable farming is our main land use, but where over the last 15 years, we've been creating 100 hectares of new wildflower-rich grasslands across 12 farms.